हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस इंट्रोडक्शन टू डोकर वीडियो इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ मॉडर सॉफ्टवेयर डिवेलपमेंट एंड डिप्लॉयमेंट डोकर हैज इमर्ज एज अ गेम चेंजर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू एवरी थिंग यू नीड टू नो अबाउट डोकर इन जस्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स वी विल एक्सप्लोर हाउ डोकर सिंप्लीफाइज द एप्लीकेशन मैनेजमेंट इनहांस एफिशेंसी एंड इलिमिनेट्स द कम्पेटिबिलिटी इशू सो विदाउट एनी फर्डर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टिड so these are the key points that we will be discussing in this video firstly we will start from the problem we are facing nowadays and how docker solve this problem then we will discuss about the what docker is then the benefits of docker and the components of docker like what are the docker images what is the docker hub and what are uh, docker containers how we can create and with them i will show you the real world example then we will discuss about the docker desk desktop i will show you my docker desktop that where, where we can contain our uh, containers where the docker images are present and how we can uh, deal with all, all of them then i will show you the commands to create the docker uh, image to create the docker container etc let's start with the problem we were facing configuring servers for web app deployment is complex especially when we are moving the applications like when we deploy application on like web application on, on any of the server we have to make a lot of settings on the server where we are deploying the application like installing the operating system frameworks and the packages but when we ship, shift over application from one server to another server we have to make these changes again it can be huge hassle for bigger projects an app working on one server may not work on another server docker solves this problem for us docker give us the uh, concept of containers we can run we can create our containers and run these containers on any of the server so what actually the docker is docker is a open source platform that allows you to automate the deployment scaling and management of application in a docker container i will explain that what the docker containers are later in this video the docker allow us to easily develop and deploy applications inside a neatly packaged virtualized environment which means the app runs the same no matter where they are and no matter on which machine they are running so let's discuss the benefits that docker provide us the first benefit that docker provide us is high performance the docker containers are always high performers the second one is the space efficiency it always use less space as it able to reuse the file efficiently same file can be used by multiple docker containers the third one is simplified development and deployment uh, it makes the docker makes it easy to develop and deploy application inside a containerized environment uh, and another benefit of using docker is it eliminates the repetitive setup means it avoid the hassle of installing the operating system framework and packages again and again there are many other benefits as well so let's discuss the main thing the components of docker firstly we will start from the uh, docker file which then build into the docker image and then will the run the docker image as docker container we begin with the docker file which can be built into docker image and which can be run into the docker container before discussing the components of docker there is another important concept that is docker hub Docker Hub is a service provided by Docker for finding and sharing the container images. You can view the Docker Hub from this website. So this is the Docker Hub where you can find large number of Docker images already provided. Like you can find the Docker image for Nginx, for MongoDB, for Node, for Redis. You can search any uh, Docker images that you need from here from this field. So let's move back to the presentation. so the first component of docker is uh, the docker file docker file is just like a blueprint it is a text document that instruct the how docker images will be uh, built i will show you how you can create the docker uh, file uh, in this video this is how the docker file looks like first you select a base image to start by using the from keyword like here i am using ubuntu as my base image then you can run any command such as the download installing or running any software here i am just uh, echoing the thanks for watching text from the docker file we will build our docker images docker images are just a set of instruction to build a docker container it is just like a template docker images also act as a starting point when using docker we can create our docker images on the, or our, our server after installing our required settings dependencies and the packages 
we can also move our docker images from one system to another system here comes the most important concept of docker that is docker container docker containers are extracted from the docker images deployed to any any machine without any compatibility issue like we can use a single docker container to any number of system or server these containers running on systems or server act like a micro computers so a docker a single docker container act like a single micro computer each doc docker container has its own specific job docker containers are intelligent that and they can only occupy the resources that they need this is another benefit of do, uh, using docker containers now we will discuss the practical part of docker like how docker helps you in your real life projects firstly we will start from the docker desktop app you need to go to the docker.com projects to install the docker in your system for mac you can install it has it will automatically detects the operating system you are running like i am running mac and you need to download the docker in your macbook or the windows then you need to install the docker i have already installed the docker desktop app it will looks like this Firstly, it will show you all the containers running in your system, the Docker images already installed in your system, the volumes, and the Docker dev environment. In the learning center, Docker will provide you with very helpful documentation about various uh, Docker concepts, like what the container is, how you can run Docker containers in your system, how you can run the multiple containers, and how you can persist data between different containers. You can read any of them if you want. Docker also provides you guidance about different programming languages like Node, Python, Go, Java, and C Sharp. You can read anything about Docker from the Learning Center. After installing the Docker, you need to go to the terminal and you can check the Docker version by running the Docker dash dash version command. If it shows you the uh, Docker version, it means the Docker is successfully installed in your system. Let's move back to the uh, slides part to see how you can uh, run different Docker commands in your project. So these, so this is the Docker uh, components part that we have already discussed. We, till now you know what the Docker files are, how you can build the uh, Docker images and what the Docker containers are. This is how the Docker file looks like. You can specify any number of commands in your Docker file. Like you can use the Docker image, you can uh, install the application dependencies, you can expose any port or you can run any command or file as well. After creating the Docker file, the next step is to create the Docker image from that file. You can create the Docker image by running the Docker build command, followed by the minus T flag, the name of your image and the location of your Docker file. Like in my case, the Docker file is present as root directly. After creating the, your Docker images, you can uh, verify the location or existence of your image by running the Docker images command. It will show you all the details of your image. After building the Docker image, you can run the container of that image or you can push this uh, Docker image to the Docker hub so that other can also view or use your Docker image. If you do not want to create your own Docker image, you can also pull the Docker image from Docker hub by running docker pull image name uh, command. Just like uh, I am uh, I am get pulling the Ubuntu image from your Docker hub, I am running the docker pull Ubuntu. You can also specify the version of Ubuntu image you want to get in your system. After creating your own Docker image or pulling the Docker image from Docker hub, you can run the Docker container of that Docker image by running the Docker run followed by the image name. This command will run only a single container. If you want to run the multiple containers like you want to run the application and the database together, you can uh, run the multiple containers by running the docker compose up command. If you want to view all the containers running in your system, you can view this by running the docker compose followed by ls. This will show you the container ID, the image, the status of the container, the port and some other options of the docker containers. So that's it from this video. Thanks for watching.